Hey everyone, stick around. We're going to talk about how I've got into the swim bait glide bait craze. Hey everyone. Glide baits, swim baits, it's become a thing. It's a, it's become a real thing. I mean, if you're watching, uh, you watch Ben Milliken, who's won some uh, big event, a big uh, bass open, and, and watch some others, Carl Jacobson and some others on the professional bass fishing tours, they're catching fish on big baits. Jacob Wheeler, you've seen video of him with a big swim bait on. Now, they're in largemouth fisheries, but I've plenty of times seen smallmouth eat big baits, uh, we get stuck throwing tiny stuff at them, and everybody's throwing neds at them, three-inch ned baits, drop shots, two-and-a-half-inch baits. They're dragging small stuff in front of these fish. And uh, on a regular basis, these fish eat some bigger baits. And in the case of uh, upper Midwest smallmouth, I've actually seen smallmouth swim up over the top of a crib when I'm catching a bluegill, and the bluegill's flailing around over the top of the crib, and giant smallmouth come up and just swallow it. Uh, where, where they wouldn't touch a small plastic bait that fell down by them. So it's a real thing, and uh, I wanted to kind of up my game anyway. So I've been doing research all winter, watching these uh, folks and seeing exactly what they're doing, and I've kind of narrowed down to what I'm going to try this year, and I'll show you, and some modifications I've had to do to some of the baits. The first one that I keyed in on was the Storm Arashi Glide. It seemed like a reasonably price entry level bait. I think is seven and a half inches is I think the small one you can get and you can get bigger ones than that. Uh, but I wanted to, I felt like I needed to get in so I, lower than that or a little smaller than that. Anyways, I was looking for something to drag over the top of points, spawning points. Um, that can be those key areas for pre-spawn, spawn and post-spawn fish to be hanging around. And, you know, I'll put an image up of what I'm talking about for that. But I was looking for a bait to back up some other uh, standard baits that I use, jerk baits and, and some other baits, but wanted something different to throw at them. Something that I could almost twitch, you know, and stand still. Uh, something supernatural, something that's a real predator that they almost have to attack. So uh, I, I started with that Arashi and, and, I, and, and I wanted to go smaller. I did some searching and I found this blank on eBay. And I'll show, show you the blank right here. It is a you know jointed single jointed Arashi glide swim bait. Now it's unpainted, right? But this thing, I got four of them, three or four of them for thirty bucks. Where you can buy one painted one for thirty bucks. So I thought I could paint it. I was painting crankbaits and some other things, anyways. So uh, I got them. I could get three of them, and I could do any modification I wanted to them, and get them to do what I wanted to do. So I got these blanks, you know. So now I'm paying ten bucks a piece for them. A little bit of an experiment, but I, but the experiment is going well so far. So uh, I got them. Uh, I want to show one thing about these things. Um, so I painted a few patterns. I painted a bluegill pattern. I painted I painted a perch pattern. See that perch pattern, right? That's a real predator of a bass, especially swimming by its spawning area for sure the bluegill is and they didn't really have a good bluegill one that I liked anyways that didn't really have the pure golds and yellows and you know I had more blues and blacks and golds and and, and, and oranges because you know sometimes you know our our sunfish have a lot of those colors in them um, you know another you know perch color and then I a couple of custom colors I have a purple one purple, black, and pink, and a black one, all black, kind of a black neon with red eyes. That, that's for cloudy, windy situations. I have that. So I wanted something that I could swim through those areas and maybe get a big bite, right? I can get 10, 12 pounds in the boat, but to win these local tournaments, you need 13, 14 on some of these lakes. Um, and I wanted something different to, to show a bigger fish. So I did that. Uh, one of the mods I did, and, and I'll show you this mod for all baits, but <clears throat> I used the old handy dandy Dremel tool with a cutting disc on the end of it to modify these. And, and what I did is when they when they make these things, they just they just continue the form from the front to the back. And you can see 
and there's not a ton of movement on that, right? That's about as much of a bend as you can get out of it. But if you take the Dremel tool and you go in there and you see if I get it, there it is right there. If you, if you cut that little lip at a 90 degrees on that front half and there's enough plastic there to do it. You can see on the blank before you paint it or you can cut it. But if you go in there and cut that 90, you can get significantly more tail bend out of that. And there it is right there, tail bend out of that bait. And when you're fishing that, you know, you, you get way more walk. And, and when you get this kind of, that kind of bend, right, on a, on, a, on a bait, you can almost get that thing to walk right in place. And in fact, it will even turn right around and look at the fish that's coming to it. And we all know that uh, fish prefers to eat a minnow head first and they'll do everything they can. You know, in that particular scenario I was talking about before with the bluegills, I'd have a bluegill caught and be swimming up and I'd see those big giant smallmouth come up and try to eat that six inch, six inch bluegill. And they'd actually find a way to swim around and attack it and swallow it head first. So it's pretty amazing. So if you can get this kind of bend on your jointed swim baits, you can twitch and you can control it and you can walk that thing right around in a circle and have it look at them head first and then they will eat it. So a uh, little bit of custom painting and it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine aren't perfect. These paint jobs aren't perfect. Um, but if you're looking for something to do in the winter like I was and I was painting a whole bunch of crankbaits anyways, it was nothing to get three of these things for the price of one and do some custom work on them myself. So, uh, why don't, why, why don't companies make a, the right cuts on, on these baits? I don't know, but, but it's not just in the blank market, you know, on, on eBay that that's happening. I also have a couple others that I like. I have the, um, Savage Gear. This one happens to be, it's a Savage Gear Glide Swimmer. Um, this one's about seven inches, right? I'll pull this out of the package. <clears throat> it's a bluegill pattern bait. It's, it's bigger than these, right? It's, it's, it's a next size up from these. But this thing's got a bluegill pattern on it. Uh, but also, this one's got a little bit more bend than normal, right? So they've done a little bit job, but there's enough plastic if I want to. I can I can open that thing up yet further. I'll get, see if I can get it there. Yeah, I could open that one up. There's enough plastic in there to uh, get that thing 90 degrees. But that's got a, a decent one. So that one will be able to walk nice probably out of the box. Savage gear. And then the other one I like is the Sixth Sense. Um, this particular one is the Flow Glider. And what I liked about this one is it was a almost perfect bluegill. They had a really nice bluegill pattern, right? It's got the wide body. It's got a good tail on it, but it's got virtually no bend in it. So out of the box, and this is a 30, this is a $35, 20, 25 or $35 bait right here. Um, you're almost going to have to cut this one. And there's plenty of plastic here too. I can see it where I can take that Dremel tool and I'll cut it right on that line and I'll square those sides up and I'll get that bend out of here too. And, and why don't, why doesn't six cents do that out of the box? I do not know. Everybody likes to customize them a little bit, but this bait right here, you can customize like that. Whoop. Cut that thing 90 and have this thing be able to walk. You'll be able to walk this thing right in place. And that'll be a deadly bluegill imitation. And big bass eat bluegill where we're at. We don't have the shad. We don't have the herring. We don't have some of the big bait fish that the southern impoundments do. But we dang sure have bluegill. And bass eat bluegill up here. Uh, large mouth will eat them, small mouth will eat them. That's the perfect size. So this is going to be, these. all of these are going to be um, good baits to go back in in areas where you've fished other things. You've, you're in a big fish area, you know it. You maybe caught big fish there before, the cover's right. And you've just exhausted all the other options and you're looking for something else before you leave to make sure that, you know, you didn't miss something and these glide baits even these you know like this one uh yeah, let's see if they got a size on here i don't think they have a size but they call it a 130 size but uh, you know that's seven inches so that's you know six six and a half inches that bait is and, and that's the size of fish they're going to eat so if you throw that next to a dock or a lay down 
uh, across spawning, uh, spawning flat, spawning beds if you locate them with your uh, electronics for sure. But uh, going to be a, a deadly bait. It's a, it's a, uh, it's proven. You know, it's not just something I'm going to try. I, I am going to try it, but I've seen it done. So it's not like I wonder if this works. We know it works, and now let's go employ that. Let's learn, employ it. You know, I've learned a lot from YouTube, so this is one just like fixing something on my car. I've seen big fish get caught like this, so I'm going to make the same mods, and I'm going to go out and try it. Interested to know what you think, if you've tried this yet, um, and, and uh, if you got any questions on how I uh, painted, where I got my stuff, or, uh, you know, how I'm making my modifications or where I'm swimming them, give me, give me a shout. And then certainly would like to know if you've made any bigger swim bait, glide bait modifications and, and how and what they've done for you uh, or just what you think about it. So i uh, going to get out now. Ice is off the lakes. It's time to, to go get some, get some fish biting. So thanks. Please like and subscribe. You're helping me out. Uh, channel's growing. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate the dialogue, the ongoing dialogue, learning about fishing. So thanks, and we'll see you next time on the water.